It's time to start considering Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni the GOAT, not just in track and field, but in sports in general. And she proved once again that she is on another planet, another level, another dimension, another millennium, anything that you can think of. She is that far ahead of everyone in the hurdles. Plus, an upset in the men's 200. And did Grant Holloway get it done? Of course he did. We're going to talk about all that in this recap on Track Talk. Sydney McLaughlin Veroni said, I mean, listen, I'm not even going to give you, y'all know what happened. You saw what happened. She dominated everybody and she broke a world record in the process. I will say I thought it was going to be sub 50, but I was wrong and I don't care. It was still crazy. 50.37, people can't even run that into 400. That is a time that, that's a qualifying time for some people. Think about that. 50.37 that is a time that you run to qualify for a round or make a team depending on where you're from and she just does that over hurdles it doesn't make any sense you talk about one of the best ambassadors for the sport an incredible person with an incredible story her faith her love for jesus is inspiring especially for those uh, who share in the same beliefs yeah, she has been blessed with this incredible athletic prowess that is just beyond comprehension that is just it manifests itself on the track and so Sid is different she's different I thought the race would be closer I will say this I got to give a shout out to Anna Cockrell who has a incredible story as well who made this team and then took home the silver medal with the new PR 51.8 and a shout out to you because that was a phenomenal race that you ran and you deserve that medal. Fem Cabal. Fem Cabal. Everybody's going to talk about, oh, she she didn't show up. She didn't. I think one of the crazy, this is just my opinion. I honestly believe that if Fem Cabal did not run that mixed relay and run that 4793, because remember the hurdles were not too long after. If she did not run that, I think that's a, what we saw is a closer race. It's still a Sid win and still a world record, but I think it is just a closer race because she would have had a little bit more to go home with. I think, you know, she gets into the low 51s, maybe breaks 50.90, you know, something of that nature, 50.85. Sid still wins. She still wins decisively, but I think it is a little closer than it was. But nonetheless, world record um by said uh anna cockerel silver medal and then fem cabal she's going home with some hardware we're gonna see what she can do in the four by four how much she has left and everything so what an amazing race incredible talent that we got a chance to witness and display and don't take greatness for granted <laughs> that's what i have to say another thing races are not one on paper and they're not one on podcast they're not one in any capacity that is outside of the track. And Leslie Toboko, man, I am a huge, 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 huge fan of his because of what he has overcome and endured. And he deserved that win. And I'm happy that he got that win. He won the men's 200 with a remarkable time of 1945 Kenny Becknerick finished in second place running 1962 Noah Lyles 1970 for third place it was um, announced that Noah Lyles had COVID but he said he was feeling a little better and so he decided to go race um, I have to say maybe this is a hot take I think if Noah was healthy he still doesn't win that race I think it's I think it's at the line neck and neck Leslie came off that turn too smooth, and I think where he's concerned, he's just getting started. And he kind of slowed down a little bit once he realized he got the win. He's still 20, what, 20 years old, 20, 21 years old, or whatever. He's a young dude, or I may have got his age wrong. I am so sorry, but he is a young guy figuring it out. And he's just gonna get faster. That is freaky. That is just freaky that someone that young is that skilled and gifted. And I'll be honest with you, if he decides to do the 400, I think that's your world record holder. I do think a few people can break the world record in the 400. Um, 
But man, that dude is incredible. And so I got to give a shout out to him. Shout out to Kenny Bettinari because he's always the guy who we don't really we talk about the big heavy hitters. But Kenny showed that he is one of the heavy hitters and that he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. He's going to get faster. Tobogo is going to get faster. Arion Knighton, he got a late start to the season with everything going on. He's going to get faster. Noel Lyles is going to get faster. I don't know who's going to break the world record, but we just need to enjoy greatness while we have it. And so it was a remarkable race in the men's 200. Tobogo pulls off the upset. And I know people are going to talk about his post-race press conference uh, when they asked, could he be the face of athletics? And he said that, uh, you know, he's not as loud or arrogant as Noah Lyles. Um, I will be honest with you. And he said, that's why Noah's the better face for it. I I don't think he meant that in such a derogatory term. I just think that um, he means Noah's personality is more fitted for that. So hopefully, you know, nothing gets, you know, we overplay this and it becomes a big deal. But shout out to him. Wonderful race in the men's 200. The men's 110 hurdles. Grant Holloway gets it done. You talk about one of the most dominant hurdlers. It is crazy to me that he does not have the world record. It is absolutely insane um, that he has not broken the world record yet, but he does have an Olympic gold medal after taking the silver to Hansel Parchment in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. And Grant's a big time baller. He shows up. He's great for the sport. He's a really good dude as well with the heart of gold. And he won by a time of 1299. I think that world record's coming soon. He's so close. I mean, they get so close to breaking it in the semifinals and in the first round. It's like, oh man, like, is it coming in the finals? You know, are we going to get that Aries merit moment? But regardless of time, he balled out. Daniel Roberts actually hit a hurdle, recovered nicely, and finished in second place in the closest. We have these close races between Team USA and Jamaica. But shout out to Rashid Robell who came in third and i mean i'm looking at it now it was like by the it was incredible both ran 1309 but by the hair of the chinny chin chin uh roberts cross as he leaned and he fell um but listen what a great race that was shout out to them for that the last one i want to talk about is the women's long jump because that was a cool race that was a really, really good race. Um, and I was excited for Tara Davis Woodall and Jasmine Moore. Moore finished in third place, uh, second uh, medal of the Olympics, medal in the triple jump as well. Tara Davis Woodall, 7.10 meters, took home the win. Now let's talk about tomorrow because we're, we're almost done, which is just crazy to me, but tomorrow is gonna be a fun day because we're gonna see the heat of the four by four, but let me kind of recap the four by one before we get started. I don't know what's going on with Jamaica, but Jamaica kind of looked like Team USA used to look with these handoffs. USA had one shaky handoff and the women's race had a really shaky handoff between TT Terry and Gabby Thomas, but they were able to settle it and they were able to get it done. But, I don't see anybody beating Team USA. If they get that baton around, I think they could touch that world record. I really do. Uh, I think the Jamaican women will be ready to go. The Jamaican men did not make it, which is just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me. Um, but as far as the men are concerned, I don't see anybody beating Team USA. I don't see anybody beating USA unless, I will give a caveat, unless there is a baton issue of course um japan they have great handoffs italy you know has done great things great britain you know they have some talent richard kilty has been around for a while zarnell hughes nathaniel mitchell blake and now you have hincliff um from houston listen great Britain could be a problem too but i'm rolling with team usa the finals are tomorrow but that was a very <laughs> that was kind of scary to be honest with you uh when it comes to how it was done the women's 400 meters that is going to be a fun one a delicate paulino so much talent in that race we're going to see who is going to take home the hardware who's going to take home the gold the women's 10k 
that's going to be entertaining because there's some heavy hitters from Team USA, Parker, Valby, Winnie Kalani. But then you just look at the heavy hitters around the world who are going to be running in that race. That is going to be one that you don't want to miss. The women's heptathlon continues. The women's shot put, obviously, with Chase Ely not being in there. That opens the door for so many wonderful athletes to win so we're going to cover it all here you got the semifinals of the mint women's hundred hurdles the 800 meters uh the heptathlon you know gears up to his final and then the race of the evening the men's 400 meter hurdles rye benjamin versus karsten warholm versus allison dos santos it is going to be insane. I cannot wait for that. I think a world, I don't know if a world record is going to come from that. I think it could be close. I think Rye can break 46, but to me, it's now or never for Rye, and I think he's ready for the moment. Now, what I want you to do, if you like what you're listening to, like, subscribe, share this page. Been doing this all Olympic long, Olympic song, and I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted when new videos come out. And definitely, if you like the podcast, Last to Guys, the podcast on Instagram, follow us on Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast, just know we got you. And guess what? I'm out.